Hello, I think it's been an earthquake um, in Birmingham. I need the fire engines quick. Um, I don't know if there's anyone inside. I'm a bit worried. Yeah, it's Birmingham City Centre. It's just building. I just felt the earthquake. Quick, hurry. I'm at Corporation Street in Birmingham City Centre. Okay, sir. They'll be with you in three minutes to spare where we're us. You can see here what's happened here. Welcome to Sky News. We are live in Birmingham City Centre. Sky News fire crews, police are here. There's been a massive earthquake in Birmingham City Centre. Just happened at around half one this afternoon. We don't know anyone is inside the building, but fire crews say keep back from the area. They are dealing with this incident here. Fire crews are in Birmingham city centre, live in Birmingham at Corporation Street. The traffic and it has been diverted, and that. We have got Louisa James at the scene of in Birmingham City Centre. Good afternoon, Louisa James. Can you tell me about what's happened here? Of course, I can, um, James. The earthquake strike at half one this afternoon. People were shopping in the area at the time. They felt it. A building really collapsed here. But fire crews are searching for people here in the city centre. Have they found anyone here Louisa? Louisa? No not at the moment. The fire service just said the building was empty at the time but it could be a lot worse there if there were a lot of people inside the building. Thank you for updating Louisa James on that story but she has got another update. Louisa James can you tell me another update please? Of course I can James, the, the police has told me now the area will be closed off for a couple, for a couple of hours, could be closed off all week, the earthquake has struck and luckily there, but we, I had a word with quite a few witnesses in this area of Birmingham, that told me it looked like, it felt like it was a bomb going off in the area, but the fact the earthquake, no. Was the earthquake so bad in Birmingham, Louisa? Was it so bad in the the area of Birmingham? It was so bad. It, it just, I don't know what's happened to the earth. It just the earth just rocketed it down. But everyone's okay. The last fan of the building has collapsed, 
but I lost quite a few business. Can you tell me which building was it? Was it office or was it? It was a small office, James. It's, it's, the building just collapsed, and you just feel you just feel people just feared, fight for their lives, and just well, it's got frightened. But the fire crews done a good job, and the police has done a good job keeping the member public on on the on the. Um, it's really really safe. We can we can go live in the air as Sky Helicopter. Can go live and yeah. Thank you for reporting that, Louisa James. Thank you to. We can live in the air with your helicopter here on Sky News. Police has closed off the area in Birmingham city centre. An earthquake has destroyed. Fire crews are still working on it. There, yeah, but once again, what Louise James said on the report. Luckily, wasn't nobody reported in the building at the time. This scene would happen. We're live here at the air. Sky News reports. Sky News reports on the air. We will give it. And Louisa James has got another update for us. Louisa James, it's night time now, Louisa. You've been here most of the day. Good evening, Louisa. But it's night time, you've been here most of the day. Yeah, once again, I've been walking around the Birmingham City area, even the buses have been affected around this area. Um, the rush hour in the area, in the area now, it's going to cause havoc. Now, Aston, the Aston Express has got a lot of traffic in the area. In the area. And this scene happened at half one this afternoon, the earthquake. It's now six o'clock at night fire crews are still here and it, it looks i tell you i tell you what james luckily no one wasn't injured at this incident it it does look bad fire crews that the, they really worked hard on this the police worked hard thank you for update louisa and thank you for reporting on the earthquake louisa have a good evening louisa once again, we're going around the area of Birmingham City Centre at Corporation Street. Corporation Street. We're going around Birmingham City Centre. We'll soon we will be talking to. Soon we will be talking to Theresa James again. You can see it here and the helicopter at the building there has destroyed it all there. The building has destroyed the building and it's took quite a few engines, fire appliances here to do with it. There's only four now at the scene but on the Vivo there was there was eleven fire appliances coming from Birmingham and the Black Country too. Police with was for the police here and every for the police and once again in the Louis James report everyone was fear they was frightened they were shaking they're scared lucky wasn't nobody in the building this is Sky News this is Sky News this is James Abbott at Sky News but you can see here but Actually, we got a, the, own, a daybreak helicopter. Now that's showing daybreak helicopter. That's showing that is showing it, the angle of the report. What Louisa James has done. We're going really, really report now. This is a daybreak helicopter. You can see it here. The, the helicopter is zooming in out the out the aircraft strike here. What a strike here. It's amazing, nobody wasn't injured here. And Louisa James. Good morning, Louisa James. Yesterday's earthquake 
What's an update now? Well, good morning, James. The earthquakes, it's a bit of cleaning up. People are still shaking about yesterday's earthquake. And, well, slowly the fire service is working on. We can, can confirm there wasn't nobody inside the building. The fire service said they were so pleased. The police were so pleased. But I hope the earthquake don't strike again. Can you? Is it? Is it the earth? What happened to the earth? Did I don't know what happened to the earth? But it was something powerful in the earth. I don't know what happened in the earth. It was something powerful. It's the earth. I think it just bounced and bounced, and it just caused Birmingham to shake. And the weather. The weather's been hot and sunny, Louisa. These past few weeks, it's been on and off with rain, and plus, but it once again the fire service and the police has done a fantastic job in Birmingham, and well, it's like everyone's okay. You luckily wasn't nobody injured at the scene, and the, a great clear up. But can you tell me what? what will the road be reopened again around this area of Birmingham? It's going to take about quite a few weeks, James, to open the area up. They've got to make the building safe. Now, the fire crews, the fire the fire crews got to make the building safe. There's only a couple of fire crews. Now, yesterday was full of packs yesterday in Birmingham, full of the mercy services. Yeah. Louisa James, thank you, and have a lovely day. And you too, James. Bye. Thank you for watching my report. This is James Abbott for Sky News. Also, I want to say thank you for Dave Red for reporting this earthquake. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.